Good day, everybody, and welcome to Camel City Chat. I'm John McPherson, and I'm pleased to be joined by my friend. I can say that, can't I? Absolutely. All right. Alan joins the Honorable Mayor of Winston-Salem. What is this like? Uh, what, what term is this for you? It's five. Five, five times? Uh-huh. Okay, the five-time mayor of Winston-Salem going to making an even six, right? We hope so. Hope okay. the voters agree with that. Well, we certainly appreciate you being on the show and being on the chat. And uh, we were talking uh, before we got started, and you've actually watched a couple episodes. Thank you, Mayor. Uh-huh, absolutely. I really appreciate that. So what i got to do is ask you the three. All right. Where are you from, and how long have you been here is question one. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm from Wilkes County. Grew up on a dead-end dirt road out there. First person ever in my family to go to college. I went to Appalachian undergraduate. And, and <coughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry, I didn't hear where that was. Appalachian State University. Thank you, sir. And then I went to University of Georgia for my master's and came here um, uh, right after grad school, and I've been here ever since. So it's 1971 to, to now. So and I want to get back to that because mm-hmm. somebody said something the other day to me, and I didn't realize this um, or I had forgotten it. Mm-hmm. So I want to talk about that. All right, I already know you're a mayor, so you're a mayor. Mm-hmm. So the answer to this is going to be: I love every place. Uh-huh. Where's your favorite place to eat in Winston Salem? Yeah, you know, John, I love every place. <laughs> no, there's and it's it's really. And you have to almost go in categories, you know, Italian, you know. Downtown. Yeah, downtown, okay. outside, whatever. Yeah. There's so many great places. And my wife and I try to try to hit as many of as we can. And, and you, you, you don't go to a place for a while, and you walk back in, and it's like, where you been? You know, how come you been? I, I got an idea. Uh-huh. Aside from the president, uh, the, the White House, you uh-huh. know, let's, let's, just, since you were just there, and that's right. why we didn't have you on last week, where's the last place you and your wife ate? How's that? Uh, downtown Thai. Okay, downtown Thai. Mm-hmm. Okay, good. So that's a, a great place. It's what's amazing. Last night, yeah, what's <laughs> what's amazing to me is is when I am downtown Winston, you're usually out and see you, and you're meeting with constituents whether you want to or not. And yeah, I, I mean, yeah. you do a great job with that. Well, you got to be out there. What I've, I've told folks, I think my staff said I had something like 1,100 meetings last year, right. something like that, all over and. Uh, I enjoy it because you get to really hear what's going on in people's minds. Well, you know, it's it's you get paid so much, and we can talk about yeah, that right, here in a minute. Right, Holy right. cow! What's your favorite thing to do in the Camel City? Uh, in the Camel City, we'll talk about the other here in a yeah, minute. I know. <laughs> Uh, in the Camel City, I mean, I, I like uh, the various museums and uh, you know Sika and places like that, and, and kind of incorporating a uh, a trip to Sika and a nice dinner out. It's kind of a fun night. You know, I, I love going over and walking back behind Renolda House. Oh yeah, um, that's a great we place. just recently uh, joined Renolda House in Old Salem. Mm-hmm. Hadn't done that before. Um, gosh, I've lived here all this time. I'm embarrassed to say it, but I felt that uh, in my new position, I, I, I should at yeah, least uh, no try problem. and get involved mm-hmm. in some of these things. And uh, you know. Golly, uh, as I told Jeff Smith last week, I mean, there's nothing better than having a margarita at Alma mm-hmm. and uh, watching the people over in, you know, the park. Oh, it's, it's a, that's an amazing facility. And, you know, with with the Innovation Quarter, with the uh, Long Branch Trail that mm-hmm. we developed there that goes all the way from, from the Research Park down to the Salem Creek Greenway. You can hit the Greenway, go all the way around Salem Lake. So you got like a 26-mile loop. Zagster, yeah, we've done that before. Zagster right What there. a great date, mm-hmm. you know. That's fun. All right, so I'd said that, uh, you know, where from, how long, uh, I said I wanted to get back to that. Mm-hmm. So the first thing I will ask on that is, is you were – staff in a sense for the city and then suddenly decided hey i want to be mayor mm-hmm. yeah i was actually i uh, came to work for the city worked through all kinds of different jobs uh, became deputy city manager mm-hmm. and i was recruited to start uh, this nonprofit development organization called the winston-salem alliance which right. is uh, pushing for economic growth uh, in our community and then sitting around a table with some folks one day we said we got to get somebody to run for mayor you know the person in there is not in their opinion, not doing a very good job, and looked at me and said, you know, you know city government, you got a degree in management, so how about you? And I said, hey, I've never run for anything in my life, but I've complained, so why? Well, I guess I better step up. And right. So that's when I decided to do it. It's amazing. And when was that that you ran for mayor for the first time? 2001. 2001, mm-hmm. okay. And then um, the, the I guess the transition for, for this would be, let's just keep going down that path and say, all right, so you have been mayor for five terms. All right, and Finishing that's up. and and how many how many years is each term? There are four years, although there was one three year term in there where uh, when we evened the, up to get uh-huh. on the presidential election. Right. Uh-huh. Okay, so you have been five terms, you've accomplished a lot, and I want to touch on that here in a minute. But right. I want to ask you probably the first question that that comes to mind is, what are you going to do? I mean, it's a sixth term. You you probably have done everything. So mm-hmm. what is 
what's the Honorable Mary Allen Joins going to mm-hmm. do in a sixth term, and why should people vote for you? Yeah, well, good. You know, I told somebody I'm as excited today in launching this re-election as I was back in 01 when I ran the first really? time. Yeah, that's I mean, awesome. I, I just love. I can't wait to get down there every day. And so we we're going to continue to push our economic revitalization. You've know, we had great job growth, and we'll talk about that. But we've got to keep doing that. Don't forget it. We've got to uh, address the poverty issue in Winston Salem. We've got a created a new plan called Pathways to Pros- Prosperity that we want to reduce our poverty levels. Um, I just launched uh, a couple of uh, in- innovation, uh, innovative uh, approaches to that, our free college. You may mm-hmm. have heard about that, where any kid who graduates from a Forsyth County High School that wants to go to Forsyth Tech but can't afford it can go free. Right. Tuition, books, fees, child care, transportation, the whole bit. Okay. And then next week uh, uh, I will be announcing a paid internship program okay. for 11th to 12th graders in our high schools for, right. again who uh, from disadvantaged families to give them a chance to earn some money to learn financial responsibility and get them pumped up to go to college even there mm-hmm. uh, we've got a lot of uh, transportation issues we've got to finish up and the one the biggest thing which is your forte is we need to develop 15,000 affordable units in the next eight years I uh, was taking my dad to the airport earlier mm. today, um, and we are pre-recording this uh, to be launched uh, this next Wednesday, which really kind of stinks because you have a top secret thing that's going to be <laughs> announced tomorrow right. of when the uh, Beltway is going to open right, up. Right. And, uh, of course, uh, all of you know when that is now because it's been said. Unfortunately, the mayor is tight-lipped, and he will not share with his friend John <laughs> when it is. But I know it's sooner than later. So Yeah, it's um, been an amazing project, hasn't it? Well, me. how many people have come into town because of that? I mean, we've had different municipalities come in and see us to, to yeah, learn how we're doing this. Yeah, they've, I don't know the exact number of that, but it, it's a textbook example of how to do something that's a, it's a difficult project. It's a design build. I mean, we actually started, the contractor actually started building it before all the final plans were in place, and the, and the contractor was picked early on and he uh, worked with the, the design so could, we could if you do this we could make it quicker if you do that that sort of thing so you know originally it was going to be 24 months right and it's going to be uh, 12, 13, 14. About 15. (laughs) I know it's before Valentine's Day now. I can say that, right? Right, you sure can. Okay, but I don't know when still. I can't believe you won't tell me, Mary. It's (laughs) it's okay, though. You know, Lou said on on here that, uh, you know, broke the Mayberries. Okay, was coming to downtown. Uh-huh. And then did Jeff, I can't remember, Stable or what was it? Jeff broke something that, that was getting ready to have. So, I mean, you know. It's, I it's just a, broke the uh, internship, the paid that's internship true. paper. Program. The paid internship. That's, I'm excited about the a, uh, uh, Forsyth Tech thing. It's probably one of my favorites. Oh, yeah. It's huge. Because I know they do it in, is it in Davie they do it as well? I mean, you know, if, if we can give something to get something, you know, if you go to Forsyth Tech, who has this awesome program, and we can keep you know, students of that age in the area because mm-hmm. that's a phenomenal workforce facility. It really is. You know, you're going to mm-hmm. leave there and have a job probably based on what you're mm-hmm. taking and things like that, then we keep them here. Absolutely. And if you think about it, um, you know, a two-year technical degree in HVAC, plumbing, electrical, uh, some kind of medical technologies, you're going to earn a pretty decent living. And I did a little quick graphic when we announced it. I just said, if, what if they earn 40000 a year? That's 2,500 kids times 40,000 a year. It's about $102 million salary. And so my graphic folks said if you stacked $100 bills on top of each other, it's taller than the BB&T building. Right. And that's kind of unique because BB&T, our now truest, is paying mm-hmm. for this program for us. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, uh, fortunately for me, I have ADD. Mm. For our podcast listeners, they're going to probably go nuts. Because every time you say something, I'm going down a different rabbit hole. <laughs> okay. um, and let's go ahead and talk about Truist. Okay. When, when I got online, um, and you know, uh, you come up occasionally or something and, and, and this, because you know, we are friends mm-hmm. uh, outside of this. Mm-hmm. And sure. I always tell people it's, it's pretty funny. The mayor will see me running down the street or something, and he'll be like, Johnny, what are you doing? Um, but uh, <laughs> what I will say is, is there have been some haters out mm-hmm. there. Mm-hmm. When you announced, and and it was, you know, well, gosh, you can't even keep this company here or that company there, and Truist being one of them. Mm -hmm. And uh, I talked to Jeff about it when he was here, and and Jeff said to me, you know, what his thoughts were. So I'll ask you this. I mean, we all want what happened to Wilson to happen to Winston Salem. Absolutely. More jobs than they had when when BB&T was there. But I know for you personally, the feather in the cap was having a top 10 bank Mm -hmm. in, in our town. Absolutely. But we've had several companies 
go to greener pastures or, you know, and my feeling on that is, is you still got to mow it. <laughs> um, For sure. But going to, taking people down to Charlotte, which is a fine city, but I don't want to drive to Charlotte. Mm-hmm. Um what what's better for us? Is it better for us to have that one company like a Haynes here, which is great, mm-hmm. um, or is it better for us to have five or six companies that are are you know s- you know like um, smaller? Mm-hmm. So what's better for us, and what are you trying to do with that as mayor? Yeah, well, I think you got to have a diversified strategy, certainly in economic development. Recruiting is, is still a piece of that, but we do have a very very aggressive strategy of uh, creating. Uh, new business startups. Matter of fact, we have a goal of creating 250 scalable companies in the next five years. That's 50 a year. And we're trying to really create this environment, this uh, uh, ecosystem, if you will, that will support that. So to answer your question, I think it's better for a community if they've got their eggs not in one basket, but spread out over a lot of these, particularly the ones that are growing in the new technologies area. Um, And we've also just created a, a technology recruitment fund where some of these startup companies are now getting you know sec- first and second rounds of venture capital and they're having growing pains and that they're having a little bit of difficulty uh, attracting technology talent here right so we created a technology recruitment fund so that if you got a company we'll help you recruit five employees for instance give you some money to help provide some inducements to people moving in moving expenses or whatever i think what's i think what's going to happen is is when charlotte does in fact possibly lose the Panthers to South Carolina mm-hmm. if mm-hmm. that happens mm-hmm. um, or, or those type of things. You know, they've obviously lost the, the headquarters, mm-hmm. which I believe now because <coughs> the headquarters is out of state means that there's a different pay thing. And, you know, mm-hmm. but I guess when players come to Charlotte and play in Charlotte, they do still are taxed at that game day. Uh-huh. I, I understand it's a slide rule and an abacus to figure that out. Um, I would think so. But with when, when those things happen, I think people are going to start to realize – you do have to pay to play. Mm-hmm. Um, the ball field was, I mean, I'm sure you were sick of hearing about the ball field oh, when you did that loan. Mm-hmm. And then now everyone thinks it's the greatest thing in the world because it's paid for, the loan's paid back. You've used that money mm-hmm. to revitalize areas around right. town, et cetera, and stuff like that. You are very instrumental. I don't care what anyone says. Yeah. You're very instrumental in getting the money back from Dell. Absolutely. I mean, you went and got that money um, and said, no, no, Michael, you can't do that. You're paying us back. That Mm -hmm. was part of the money, and and people were surprised that that came back. So I think that you've been fiscally responsible for us. Thank you. um, And I appreciate that. Mm -hmm. And so when people do that, I I don't. Uh, I don't want to start a uh, a Facebook war, but <laughs> I am disappointed that people don't see past some of the things. Yeah, unfortunately, folks don't understand the, the nitty-gritty of, of a deal. Uh, people talk about, well, Dale moved away, but I said, let me describe a, a scenario to you. What If somebody came to you and said, look, I want to bring a company to your town. I'm going to create 1,400 jobs. I'm going to invest uh, like $120 million in a plant, and I'm going to work there for six years, and then I'm going to close. But then I'm going to give all your money back. So would you do that deal? And you now have the facility and that Caterpillar can move yeah, into and be right. fine, right? Right. Or, or, or Herbalife. Herbalife, that's right. Yeah. Thanks. And yeah. so uh, people would say, oh, yeah, I do that deal every day. Well, yeah. so that's exactly what happened with Dale. Yeah, it's funny when you talk about real estate commissions, somebody's like, well, I had to pay for this or that or whatever. And I'm like, I will pay all day a couple hundred bucks to get mm-hmm. the promised land, you know? So yeah. it's, but yeah, I, um, uh, I think you know I'm a fan, and mm, sure. you know I'm, I'm hoping everyone realizes that. I, I really feel as though you've done some wonderful, wonderful things for Thank our you. community. Thank you. Um, now, when we've said uh, your favorite thing to do, let's go to some personal life here too. Mm-hmm. Of course, your wife is uh, still teaching yoga or doing yoga and all that stuff. She has a yoga studio. Right. She's a, a actress. She's written and produced two Broadway plays actually, and uh, she's just finishing. Uh, she finished an album last year, and mm-hmm. she's finishing her master's in interdisciplinary arts up at Goddard University in Vermont. So she's busy, busy. Okay. Yep. No wonder you go hiking. Yeah. So <laughs> get so out of her me, way. <laughs> yeah. So tell me about hiking. Um, so when did this start and where are you at with your, your goal? Well, you know, I've always been an outdoorsman person. Loved it from the Boy Scouts. You know, I'm an Eagle Scout. Um, but uh, I just got back into hiking maybe four years ago on my own. So every fall and spring, I do a section of the Appalachian Trail by myself. Right. And it's kind of scary at night, to right. be honest with you. But it's a good uh, push for you. But I can really recharge the batteries out there by yourself. All right. So um, 
as you know, we have a mutual friend, Hank Perkins. Yeah. And uh, Hank is doing it. I think he said take a break because his buddy changed jobs or something, mm-hmm. and now they're they're doing it again, um, catching back up. But you know, it's it's got to be even harder with one person because what do you do? Do you take a do you go to point A and drop the car and then get a shuttle, or you pay somebody an Uber yeah, to take yeah. you back? Uh, my wife had been doing the shuttling for me, but I'm now getting far far enough away that it makes it hard for her to. Ma- it takes almost right. all day for her to do it. Right. So I found a company out of Damascus, Virginia, that okay. will. Uh, do that. You can leave your car, and they'll shuttle, shuttle you as far as you want to go up to trail and drop you off, or you can go take your car to a particular spot, and then they'll pick you up and take you on up to trail. So it uh, okay. works out pretty cool. well. And now, how far how, how far have you gone? All right, right now, I am uh, about a no, about seventy five miles north of Damascus, Virginia. Okay. And Damascus is where we do the creeper trail. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah cool place, I love yeah, doing that. Cool we've place. been talking to Laura about doing that. She's just not at riding bikes yet. Just we were bike. in Hilton Head a few weeks ago, mm-hmm. and she got on the back of a, a, a two seater, and I pedaled, and of course she rode with me. She thinks that's the greatest thing in the oh, world. Oh yeah, you yeah. doing all the work. Yeah, 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 yeah. Me doing all the work. <laughs> I went out on the beach with her, and it's like, I mean, couldn't even move, and so. Uh-huh. Yeah. But, you know, she's, she's, she's spoiled, I think. That's great. Yeah. That's good stuff. Well, um, I'll tell you what. Uh, you've got a campaign site that people can go to to learn more mm-hmm. about you? All yeah, right. yeah. So what is that site? Well, it's just uh, joinsformayor.com. And so. spell it out for them, J-O-I-N. J-O-I-N-E-S-F-O-R-M-A-Y-O-R. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring that page up right now as we take a little break. Oh, wonderful. Um, and uh, so you can see what we're talking about, folks, is join, joins from Mayor's site. And then uh, we'll be back to talk to the mayor about a couple more things. And we're going to be right back with uh, more Camel City Chat. So check out this, uh, check out his site. And, of course, people can go on to your website there um, to uh, Joints for Mayor. Right. And if they want to get involved, get a yard sign, make a donation. Donation. Thank yeah. you very All much. Right. <laughs> sure. Yeah, that's always good. Yes, um, thank you. And, uh, and, and get involved. Because now you have competition this time in Democratic and Republican? I do, yeah. Okay. Yeah, and a, when was the last time that you had a Democratic challenger? Uh, Two or three terms back? It, it's about, yeah, th- uh, 13, 2013. Okay. Yeah. All right. And, and, I mean, it's just... There are people that were probably going to run whether you were going to run or not, is what I'm thinking. I suspect so, yeah, they okay. were interested in it, yeah. All right, so I, I finally got the piece of paper here because I've been telling you I'm, I'm doo, 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 uh-huh. uh, jumping around. Right, right. All right, so let's talk about some wins and, and also some concerns because mm-hmm. the, the one thing that, that I enjoy whenever you and I have any type of dialogue is that you're like, well, ask me whatever. And I'm like, well, what about, no, John, ask me whatever. This mm-hmm. is I get it all the time from everybody else, so why mm-hmm. can't I? Yeah, yeah. So yeah. big win for you is um, veteran homelessness. Explain right. that because people are like, well, I still see homeless. Mm-hmm. So what, what what's that? Yeah, we, we started a plan, 10-year plan to end chronic homelessness about 10 years ago. Right. And chronic homelessness is, is what you need to remember. It's chronic homelessness is someone who's been homeless for a year or more. Okay. Now, we still have, you know, episodal homelessness out there, but we have reduced the chronic homelessness by 92%. Okay. And we were one of the first 27 cities in the country who was certified by HUD, Housing and Urban Development, have actually ended veterans homeless. Really? Yeah. Okay. And we got we got a big grant from the VA, matched by BB&T and, and others, so we're really proud of that. All right. And, and, you know, uh, as we had talked about a little bit earlier, um, are you excited about the Peters Creek Project with uh, affordable housing coming in there With that the Lou had talked right, about on the right. first episode? Yeah, absolutely. And as I said, we've we got this huge mountain to climb on affordable housing. And it's not just Winston-Salem. It's cities all across the country. I just got back from D.C., as you know. Right. Uh, mayors are just really talking about how to do affordable housing. And we hopefully in a, the uh, Opportunity Zones will help a little bit of that as we do some things. Yeah, we've got to come up with some sort of a plan. And, and and, and one thing that, you know, if you look at a, a house in Winston, um, if we're doing an average between one hundred and fifty and two hundred thousand, mm-hmm. you know, they're saying between thirty and forty thousand of that is as a result of um, governmental add-ons, mm-hmm. and so it's right. hard to do that. Mm-hmm. And so you guys are coming up with plans of maybe it's that uh, you know there's this house here, or, you know, that the the sewer taps has been mm-hmm. a big thing where right. um, you all were doing them, and it was at a loss for the city mm-hmm. in a sense. And so now there are individuals doing it. I mean, there's all kinds of things. The great thing for us is that we all have dialogue. That, and, that's true. And you know, it's like, well, uh, I know a big thing that's 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 being considered right now is stormwater runoff, and right. I mean, it will change the price of homes. Big time, if, yeah. if the new one that they're discussing. So, um, you know, 
but we've always had a great relationship with you and your we, staff. We have, yeah, great relationship with the Board of Realtors and Home Builders, and we, we work collaboratively on things. And you're right, the regulations can be a killer in making prices go up. So. Yeah, and, I mean, the, you know, the mold thing that was going to come up a few years mm-hmm. back, you know, you guys were getting ready to vote on it in, in one of the committees or something like that. We made the phone call, explained, you know, this, 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 talked about this. There was really, you know, it's, it goes back to the old, uh, what the Chief Justice says, you know, pornography, I know it when I see yeah, it. That's right. What's mold? You can't really define it. Yeah. And how's, how's that happen? Yeah. And, uh, um, you know, it was one of those things where it's like, yeah, well, let's, let's punt on Pull this. Pull it back and, sure. and look at it, yeah. yeah. Um, so w- with, with all this going on, there's some other things of, Economic development. Mm-hmm. So, as as president of the association mm-hmm. this year, I got. The, can you believe they let me do this? I can create committees. Wonderful. So, um, I'm sure you know the name I'm about to say, Jake Cashin. Mm-hmm. Um, Jake yep. is head for the whole state of North Carolina mm-hmm. Realtors for right. Economic Development, and That's I asked right. him if he would share it here. So, we put together this great group, and I'd love to get you to come to uh, one of their meetings. Sure. But we've already Looked talked up. about what's coming in May, and I really want you to have that on your calendar. Mm-hmm. Um, we've got the potential of having Lawrence Yoon from the oh, yeah. That's uh, big from, time. Yeah, um, from uh, the NAR to be here in town. And, you know, economic development's one of those things that the chamber has now gotten involved with, with Bob Leak and them and, yeah, and you and all that yep. stuff. Mm-hmm. And so tell us what this is because economic development, as we've talked about, is huge. Yeah, it is. And the numbers are really good uh, for us. Uh, from ni- from 2017 to 2019, our net new job growth was 3.9%. That's the highest percentage growth of any of our peer metro areas all across the southeast, including Greenville, South Carolina which mm-hmm. is kind of that bellwether group that we compare ourselves with. What that translates it to is about 5,300 net new jobs per year. And that's kind of our goal of creating 5,400. So as we say, it's close enough for government work right. to, to there. So we've got strong growth. Our unemployment rate is, is good. And the um, uh, Forbes magazine picked us as number six in the country in 2020 for projected new growth of mm-hmm. an area. So it should continue, hopefully. And that's what I'm going to love about this podcast yeah. and doing it this way is I'm going to reach out to those authors mm-hmm. and have them on as mm-hmm. a side-by-side on the oh, screen. Oh, that's, that's good. I like that. And do that. some stuff like that and interview, well, why Winston-Salem? What, you know, mm-hmm. this type of a thing. Um, uh, you know, I had John Smaby on recently, who's the last year's president of Realtors oh, Association. Okay. Uh-huh. This, in a few weeks, I'm going to try and get Vince, who is the president currently, and trying to get people to talk about their hometown. I see. But if you've got any guests that you can think of mm-hmm. that I should talk to, I mean, I'd love to have them on because, you know, it's wonderful when a national magazine is saying, hey, oh, yeah. this is who we are. Yeah. And we need to get... The, the, the whole purpose of Camel City Chat is to talk about Winston-Salem, yeah. and try and get people to understand it's a great place to live. Good stuff. I mean, just in your own May, I think it's Realtor.com ranked us number eight in the country for best residential market yep. 2020. Yep. Uh, Wallet Hub Magazine ranked us number one in the country, tied with Austin, Texas, of all right. places, and Charlotte for the percentage growth of new business startups. Right. So that's a pretty heady company to be in right there. Yeah, and before you go today, I want to write these down. Cause yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. then those are um, – so this is the chat. We're talking about chatter, mm-hmm. and so this would be – little snippets that we would do in between the Wednesday hump day um, uh-huh. thing. And then, so one of the things that we do is, is I'll do a market update mm-hmm. and we'll put up the information. Oh, so that'd great. be a chatter. So uh-huh. this is the chat. And then we'll have the chat we'll in between. Chatters. Yeah. In between. Like All right. So economic development are, uh, I'm, I'm assuming you're somewhat excited about this collaboration. Uh, with the, yeah, it's a consolidation of the chamber and Winston Salem business. Uh, and, uh, Bob Leak's been doing it for a long time, and Bob's excited about it as well. He's going to move over and do some other things. But Mark Owens, our new president of the Chamber of Commerce, will be a centralized uh, unit called the Greater uh, Winston-Salem, Inc., basically. Mm -hmm. Greater Winston-Salem, Inc. And um, we'll have a a new executive vice president for recruitment. But I think having it consolidated would be good overall for our community. Well, um, we talked about this a little bit earlier, and I'm – I'm still, you know, every time you're on the radio show, I try and get something from you. Then now yeah, you yeah. actually have something, and you won't yeah. tell me. It, it hurts. <laughs> yeah. Um, I guess you're a public servant, and you have to, you have to <laughs> keep it under your hat. I got I, myself I'll, in I'll trouble last bit, time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you did there, didn't you? <laughs> Pat Ivey's not somebody you want to make <laughs> no, mad at. No, 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 no. What a, what a great job they have done. Oh, I am. And I, I'm, 
I'm going to say it at the press conference is how pleased I am with State DOT right. and with Flat Iron Construction. They just have done a great job of uh, exceeding expectations, exceeding time frame, and just just making a, a project go pretty smoothly. Don't forget the most important thing: oh, yeah. the groundwork. They oh, going yeah. around mm-hmm. and doing all of that stuff of saying to people, "Hey, guys, Get you ready. know." Get ready. Mm-hmm. The, didn't the chamber stand at outlets and ha- I mean at um, yeah at uh, exits and hand out information with did. signs? This will be closed next week. I mean yeah. that you know grassroots Cassandra and her emails mm-hmm. telling you what's going on yeah, and keeping up with it. Yeah, and um, I think even before all that began, it was the the huge community involvement in deciding which way you want us to build this. Right. Either close one lane for six years or close it all for two years. Well, now I think we should have gone to close one lane for six <laughs> years, and it would have been two years, yeah, you know, right. so <laughs> as, as quick as they built this. So, all right, I told you I took my dad to the airport. Yeah. Okay, so my dad had to fly up to St. Louis, and right. um, uh, um, one of the things that uh, he said on the way is, is he goes, yeah, I I pulled up and stopped, and I go, uh, I'm sorry, what did you do? So my dad's exiting Parkway, Salem Parkway, going up onto Peters Creek and decides just mm. to pull in there where the barrels are and oh. parked. I'm like, Dad, don't don't ever tell me you did that. <laughs> he goes, well, I wanted to see what was going on. So check I it out. There. Yeah, you know, you don't tell a 95-year-old no, what to no, do. No. So he's hanging out there and everything, and he goes, the only thing that I'm concerned about, son, is... This is, I mean, what what the heck's he... I mean, he's got time to do this, I guess. I, I just, mm. I never even thought about this is, They've destroyed every road in town. Mm. So Country Club Road has been just become a, yeah. 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 I mean, just so what, so I'm, I'm glad that I talked to him this morning because mm. I get to ask you this sure. and I get to call him and tell him. But uh, what's what's up with, how are we going to address the ancillary roads from what, with what happened? Yeah, yeah, particularly downtown, First Street, Second Street, Liberty, Main have really taken a, a beating, particularly First Street. Uh, and we did not want to do any major repairs on that until the road was finished, obviously. Right. And also, uh, we're going to be making First Street two-way, Second Street two-way, which is going to take some intersection w- reworking and restriping and that sort Permanently of thing. Permanently or just? Permanently. Wow, okay. And we're going to be making uh, Liberty Street two-way and Main Street two-way. So a lot of, wow. lot of work there. And this was part of the long-term plan uh, after, you know, Business 40 or now Salem Parkway is finished. It's been in the plans. So and then we have an aggressive uh, uh, pavement plan for other parts of the city as well. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, you know, and, and I don't know if, uh, if a lot of you know this, but I had the mayor on the radio show. And when he was on the radio show, one of the craziest things was, if you remember, this is the first mm-hmm. time you were on, mm-hmm. uh, we got a phone call and it was somebody going, uh, hey, my... My uh, my, my garbage hadn't been yeah. picked up, mm-hmm. and you mentioned something about it. And before the show was over, uh, you text you go up. I go, what's that? He goes, they just texted me. They picked his trash. Up. <laughs> I mean, you just <laughs> yeah, it's awesome. Yeah. It, it's, We've got such a great staff. Johnny Taylor heads up our operations for for streets and sanitation and and uh, the recycling, and he's just a great guy and gets gets things done. Mm-hmm. Um, now uh, another thing is uh, before we we got we got a couple more subjects, and I know we got to let you go. Uh, we got a few more minutes on this segment. We'll take a break and then, of course, come back. But uh, I think you're going to prove me wrong. Okay. I said, and I hope that you prove me wrong now because mm-hmm. yeah, I don't want anything to happen, but I said that not in my lifetime would there be a Western Belt. <laughs> the Western Northern Belt. How's Beltway. your health, right? Yeah. How, <laughs> it's, it's, there, you want to check it real quick? <coughs> so it, quit coughing in here, Mayor. Sorry. I don't want you to get me no, sick. Sorry. No, but no, what... Uh, What's going on with the Beltway? So the Eastern, you guys had some economic oomph, and it yeah. started getting built, right? Exactly. The Eastern leg, which is made up of uh, six segments, I guess it is, all are funded, and five of them are under construction, and the other one will be let. Uh, the contracts have been let, uh, and the sixth one will be let uh, early next year. Okay. The Western leg, um, one segment is fully funded. And then the rest are in the plan over the next, uh, you know, ten years or so. So, how many legs are in the western leg? Do you, uh, so I'm not sure. I think it's five okay. or so. There's about so, five. and what'll happen is, is I will be going down four. I will be going up 421 North, mm-hmm. and at the holler in between Peace Haven and Jonestown will be an opportunity for me to get over. And so now, when I decide to leave from Louisville to go to, um, what you call it. Uh, the Grand Theater, let's say, mm-hmm. I'll get on 421 South, and instead of getting off at South Creek Parkway, I'll just shoot over on, on, on the Beltway, on the Beltway mm-hmm. and it'll probably take me 15 minutes. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. 
and we, we'll open that first. I'm excited about we're going to open the first segment of the Beltway Eastern leg, the one from uh, Business 40 up to 158. That's going to be open, I think, April sort of time frame. So we'll get to drive on that first segment. Mary, there. you've got a problem with a with 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 dates on no, this. I, know, I don't I want to know. get you in trouble. You you you're guessing it's April. I'm pretty sure it's April. <laughs> Pat, I get it, mad at Pat Ivy is <laughs> April, right? <laughs> <laughs> So it's going to be next week then, right? Yeah, that's, yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah. And I'm talking about the leg, not not whatever. You, you still won't tell me the other. All right. All right. So, all right. Uh, I've been pretty I've been pretty kind. Yes, we got to go yeah. down a little path yeah, here, sure. and okay. I apologize. That's all right. Um, I saw you on TV with my friend James Taylor yes. um, yeah. uh, talking about gangs and violence and stuff like that. What's going on? Because my understanding is, is, is when I look at it, and you even corrected me even more, I'm like, well, it seems that we're right around the same – 20 to 30 deaths each mm-hmm. year, which mm-hmm. we don't want any, but right. it doesn't seem like it's going up. But then now you've told me that we had, in back in the 70s, we had 30. Yeah, there was a period in, in the 70s we had 25, 30 uh, homicides in the 70s. And, right. and think about it. At that point, our population was, say, 150,000. Okay. Today it's 250,000, and we've got the same uh, homicide rate. So, in effect, it means our rate has been cut not quite in half, but I'm but it's a percentage half. down, obviously yeah, percentage based down. on the increase in population. So, but all right. So, I don't think there'll ever be a day that we get away from complete gun violence. But your goal and task force, et cetera, through your public safety committee mm-hmm. and things like that, is what? Well, to to reduce it as much as possible, the, the sheriff, uh, sheriff, uh, uh, police chief has created this collaboration among the sheriff, the DA, the drug enforcement groups, the U.S. attorney, and alcohol, tobacco, and fire alarms, and they're sharing data, and they got this great ballistic testing system so that we actually had a, 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 mur- a murder here in Winston-Salem and caught shell casings. There was a murder in Greensboro with shell casings, and we were able to combine them, compare them, and we made an arrest based on that. Okay. And we're getting ready to install a um, gunshot detection system from a big grant we got from the Department of Justice where anytime a gunshot goes off in certain areas where we've got these devices, it triangulates. Right. In, in real time, it tells the police where this gunshot what gunshot was. So right. it won't prevent the, the murder or shooting where it was, but it will get police right there. And if you get the bad people off the streets, <coughs> right. then plus that. Uh, yeah, right. I mean, you know, gosh, it, it, it took you forever, but uh, I'm sure you turned a cartwheel in your office when Mass General Store bought a, mm-hmm. a small piece of property downtown. That's right. Took t- <laughs> t- t- that off the market there, yeah. the old... Uh, Girls, uh, girls, girls uh, facility. Right, there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and there'd been a lot of violence there. And, right. um, uh, but so public safety. And, and, and so what's going to happen is, is if you're in certain areas of the city, obviously, I'm assuming you're going to go where there's been more. I mean, because you guys, tr- the journal puts it out all the time. OK, here's the line and here's where all this stuff was. Right. right. If you go um, and uh, what the heck is that? My phone. Oh, my computer's ringing. My phone's not even in here. Oh, Sorry wow. about that. That's but no, um, if you uh, if you go into, you know, I'm assuming you're going to put it where we know gun violence has happened. Right, right. Likely areas where we could see uh, additional violence, right? Okay. All right. Um, let's do this. Let's take a break. Um, right. And when we come back, I want to talk about, uh, kind of end us up on, I've, I've, I've told you, there's I've got about four questions left that okay. I want to ask. All right. All right. So again, let's put up the uh, website for Joins for Mayor. So if you'll check that out, and then of course you can find it. We'll put across the bottom the actual um, URL. Go there and um, uh, see how you can help out Mayor Joins get reelected for a sixth term. We'll be right back with more Camel City Chat. All right, welcome back to uh, Camel City Chat. I'm here with the Honorable J. Allen mm-hmm. Joins, Mayor of Winston-Salem, who is running for his sixth term. Um, someone that I support, I will tell you that right now. I think uh, he's done an excellent job in the Thank time you. that he has been on Thank you. our uh, council and, and chairing that whole entire thing. You don't get to vote. Unless a tie. Unless right. a tie, right? Mm-hmm. So, right. Um, and uh, you've had some crazy things happen. I mean, uh, last year, somebody in the um, state house or state senate was trying to just say, okay, Winston Salem, you just vote for whoever and you don't have uh, the different districts. Yeah, there's a bill introduced to reduce this from eight wards to five districts. Right. And um, I talked with the, it was Representative um, Lambeth, and I talked with uh, Donnie, and he and I are good friends. And, he agreed to pull that back, and we've created actually a study commission. He and I jointly appointed, and, and they're looking at well, what, what is it? Do we need to make any changes in the structure, and if so, what might it look like? It's always funny to me, and and you know when when the Democrats had the House and 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 Senate in in the state, uh, they they gerrymandered just as as best they could to make sure the Democrats got elected. Mm-hmm. When the Republicans have it, 
they did the same thing. And, of course, the Democrats mm. point said, you can't do that. And it's, yeah. uh, it's just, look, just let the people elect who the people are going to elect. I agree. And, uh, I agree. And so, um, all right, so four questions left. All right. Um, what are you most proud of in the last 19 years? Well, I would have to say it would be the uh, the homeless situation, getting that getting that hold on, get a hold of that, and particularly the veterans homelessness. Mm-hmm. You know, in ending veterans homelessness. You know, to me, someone who served our country, protected us, it's just unimaginable to have that person living on the streets. Mm-hmm. You know? mm-hmm. All right, what do you think you're going to be remembered for? Mm. Well, hopefully, re- remembered as a as a person who righted the ship. And got in our got our economy going in the right direction. Got us focused on the future, you know, a city uh, that's embracing innovation and rapid change. And uh, hopefully, I'll be, be remembered for that. Okay. All right. Um, what do you dream of the most happening in your sixth term as mm-hmm. mayor? Well, you know, I'm really going to focus on continuing to reduce poverty. Uh, right now, our, our rates have dropped from 26% to 21%. I really would like to get it below 10% uh, in the next four years, maybe five years. Um, and so that would be my absolute favorite thing. And obviously, and then our job growth has continued as well, because we've got to have the job growth to support all these social uh, programs. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, it's a census year. Mm-hmm. That's right. So, how do you feel? Of, how do you think we're going to do on that? Well, we, we've got a. I appointed along with Commissioner Plyler a uh, complete count committee. We've got subcommittees all working in all various agencies and, and, and sides of the community to make sure people understand how important it is to get the census done because it means how many representatives we have in the state. You know, we should probably pick up a, a, another con- congressional seat. And how much money we get as Winston-Salem for Side County because so many of the federal grants are tied to population. Uh, social uh, agencies make plans based on population. The school system makes plans based on population. So it's hugely important. And the, the information is confidential. I mean, mm-hmm. you don't have to worry about it being shared with anyone. Well, you want a new school. Fill out the census. Mm-hmm. You know, you want a new, you want a new post office. Fill out the census. You want to, right. you know, you want a new YMCA. Fill out the census. I mean, yeah, all it, this, all that information shows us where people are living, and they immediately right. use that as as part of absolutely. Yes, yeah. yeah, sir. All right. Well, um, where are we at in the election process for you? I mean, now we've got the uh, what March. March 3rd is, is the your primary. primary. Yeah. So everybody go out and vote March 3rd. Well, actually, you can start voting March, uh, February 13th. February 13th, okay. It'll be early voting from February 13th to the 29th, and then the, the big day is, of course, March 3rd. So celebrate the road opening prior to February mm-hmm. 13th? Absolutely. Okay, by going out and voting for the mayor. I like that. I like that. See, there you go. See, I, I, you told me it was before my guess. I, mm-hmm. I thought you'd do it on Valentine's Day because, you know. Uh, it be a sweet, sweet, sweet sweet that. thing. That's a cute idea. Yeah. But, you know. It's not cute. It's a good. I'm That's a good idea. Okay, <laughs> no, no, no. It's, it's a good idea. Yeah, because we Super love our idea. city. Yeah, right. Right, right, right. Um, and uh, so of course they can go to joins for mayor to vote. I mean to uh to contribute, uh, get in, involved with your campaign. <laughs> right. And uh, I'd said that that was going to be the last question, but I just realized there's mm. something very important. Mm, sure. No one cares how much you know until they know how much you care. If you if you care about your city. How do I get invo- involved? Because oh, I know you. that's huge to you. Thank you. Yeah, we've got about thirty-five boards and commissions, John, of which you, you thank you for serving on the ABC board. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm always looking for good people who want to serve on these advisory boards and commissions, and we, we post the vacancies in, in the paper and on our website, so you can go in there, fill out an application on the website, and uh, send it in. We'd love to get you involved. So, what is it? City of WS dot org, yes. probably. Mm-hmm. It or is. Gov? City, City of WS. Dot, uh, org. Org. Okay, mm-hmm. so go to cityofws.org. If you're in the city, dial three one one from your phone, mm-hmm. um, and you can get uh, that's that gets you to the um, city links. City links, right? Right. Um, and uh, love the automation of things. It seems that that's all going well. Yeah, we, we've been picked at one of the top ten digital cities for the last like eighteen years, and we were actually in the top five one year. So it's really uh, making it hopefully city government more accessible to everyone. And, and I keep lying to you. I keep telling you the last question, yeah. but I got another one yeah, for yeah, you. Yeah. Explain the city of arts and innovation. Mm. Well, it's a tagline, and it's not just routinely picked. You know, we had the first arts council in the country here in 1949. Innovation with the creating uh, an innovation ecosystem of uh, taking ideas and then taking them to the marketplace and creating jobs with it. Mm. All right. Why should people vote for you? We've had a great run. I've uh, created uh, 
large number of jobs. We've reduced homelessness. We've got a good start on reducing poverty and have created a plan to uh, address affordable housing. I'd just like for the uh, chance to go ahead and finish those up. Okay. Yeah. Let him do his job. Finish it up. All right. Well, I want to thank everybody for listening to or watching Camel City Chat here. I have to do the obligatory stuff here, Mayor, sure. which uh-huh. is... You know, like us on YouTube and Facebook. Uh, uh, check the the hit the bell to make sure subscribe, all that kind of stuff. And and uh, it's only going to grow with your uh, comments and things like that. So I appreciate the mayor being here, Glad and uh, we will see you next time on Camel City Chat. Thank you so much, Thank Mayor. You, John. Now what I'm supposed to-